In this video, I'll be cleaning my throttle body on my 2009 Honda Civic. And while I'm in there, I'm gonna clean my mass airflow sensor. Now, my throttle body is gonna fix my surging and my idle fluctuation. My mass airflow sensor cleaning that is gonna help me with some gas mileage. Now I'm gonna start by pulling off the battery. The battery actually doesn't have to come out. I just wanna do this because I'm filming it and I want you to see it. Let's get started. So next we're gonna remove the mass airflow sensor connector and the wire. You're just gonna take these and push it forward. And then this one actually goes towards the back of the car. We're just gonna move that aside. And then we have these spring clips that hold on the air filter assembly top half and from there we can just pull this off good time to take a good look at your air filter I think I'm gonna hang on to this one just a little bit longer next I've got two 10 millimeter bolts one here and then one down here let's go ahead and pull those off One's loose. That one's loose. So next up, we need to take off the lower half of the air filter assembly. And to do that, we have a clamp right here that needs to come off. This clamp needs to come off or at least loosened. Um, over here, we have a rubber grommet that's keeping it in. And then this hose right here, which I just removed. Let's get that taken care of right now. First two. Go ahead and just kind of loosen that. And then, just need to loosen our clamp. there and from there we can just kind of try to work it out a little bit here all right and it looks like this is the way it comes out kind of straight down this way so now that the air filter assembly is out we need to get this boot off and there's just a screw holding this clamp on to do that. So let's go ahead and see if we can't get this out of there. The boot's gonna come off. Just pop this hose off of its holder. And then there's a couple more up here. Finally, here's the throttle body, and this is what we're gonna clean. So our next step, let's plug back in the mass airflow sensor, because what we're gonna do in our next step after this is we're gonna turn the key on. I'm gonna use this before we turn the key on to press that accelerator pedal all the way down if you have somebody that'll do that for you, that'll work too. They just need to hold that all the way to the floor. That's gonna open up those throttle plates and then we can start cleaning. Let me show you how this works. So here's how this works. You just come in, you put it on the throttle here and then you just pump it up and this will hold the throttle down. Go ahead and just turn on the key. All right, so with the throttle plates open, I'm gonna use some carburetor choke cleaner, spray it on a rag, and just get inside there and just kinda clean everything up. 
So I'm just gonna pour it on this rag here. Get quite a bit of amount. I'm just gonna reach in there. I don't need to spray it all in there. I just wanna reach in there and just clean the, the walls of it. And for the places I can't get, I'm gonna use a toothbrush. Spray it all over the toothbrush. And don't use this toothbrush on your teeth anymore. Not that you would. All right, so I'm cleaning it up in there. Looks pretty good in there. So you want it cleaned up when you're done. That's, that's like the best I can do. So now it's time to put everything back together. Same procedure. Just, we're gonna reverse the route. So gonna, you gotta make sure it's tight. You don't want any air leaking past the mass airflow sensor. And next up is our air cleaner assembly. And remember how that went in. It went in kind of this way as the way it came out. So that's how it's going back. At the beginning when I said you didn't need to take out the battery, I was just doing it for filming. It actually would helps quite a bit when the battery's out. So I would screws right here and here. This just pops on there. Next up, we're gonna take the screws. There's two screws, one on each side. The Phillips, they're a little bit <coughs> tight. They'll come out. Biggest thing here is don't lose them. Don't let them drop. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna just set it down here. Get the other one, it's a little bit of an angle. <coughs> okay. And once again, once it's out, reach your hand in there. You just don't wanna lose it. All right, I got them both off. So here's our mass airflow sensor. And if you look real closely inside, there's actually some wires in there and that's what we'll be cleaning. So it's a pretty simple ordeal here. You just take some electronics cleaner. They have mass airflow cleaner also, but it's exactly the same stuff. Go ahead and just Kind of clean it. Um, this stuff won't hurt the mass airflow sensor. So don't be afraid to use a lot of it. Don't use the whole can, but just use enough to get it clean. Now, when you put this back in, just be aware there's a gasket right here. I mean, it could have stayed in here. So just make sure right here is cleaned up. We'll go ahead and put it back there. Take your screws. Once again, don't drop them because you'll never find them. Start it by hand. Another screw here. Another screwdriver. Now it's just plastic, so you don't have to over tighten them. Okay. 
Okay, and once that's in, make sure you get the air cleaner back in correctly. Probably a good time to change your filter also. One last look. Oh, that's why we always give it one last look. Plug in the mass air full sensor. Put these, and let's go ahead and start this baby up. <laughs> 